Um, thank you, and thank you, Cahir Locke. Um, Minister, the European Council Regulation uh, 2022 1854 was agreed at a meeting of the Council of Energy Ministers on the 30th of September 2022, and it came into force on the 8th of October 2022. This brings a cap on market revenues for non-gas technologies in the electricity sector, a temporary solidarity contribution based on taxable profits for fossil fuel production and oil refining, and a reduction target of 10% of overall electricity consumption and a 5% reduction of the electricity consumption in peak hours. I am pleased we will implement this, but Minister, could you outline where the proceeds will go? for households and businesses heavily affected by soaring energy prices, the public need to know. And Minister, I can only confirm to you today, the amount of phone calls that I have got from businesses in the last few days has really been worrying to me. And I think it's more the concern of the energy costs and will they be able to keep their businesses going. And that is a huge factor across the board. And what I would say is, and I would ask, that you would um, maybe look at maybe setting up some sort of a communication campaign or information because what I'm feeling from the businesses is like one particular butcher rang me only the other day and said Jennifer I have six huge fridges and while I am trying to do my best and look minister I know you're aware of this I just feel he said at this stage if my bills keep coming in the way they are I don't know if I can sustain this um, I would also ask the Minister of State to address um, accommodation issues. While I'm on this now, Minister, I, I, because this is another huge issue for me, it's about accommodation for our um, Ukrainian refugees. And this is another issue that I have had several phone calls about. And the reason I have it is, um, I just feel, Minister, that there seems to be maybe some sort of a uh, maybe a failing in the system. While I know we're, we weren't expecting this and I know that the system wasn't, but I just feel myself, I have two property owners in Carlow, between Carlow and Tolo, that have come to me and they can accommodate 60 refugees. And despite my intervention and going to all the different areas to see where I can help, I still have got no word. And that is going on months. And one of my concern, Minister, is that morale will go. If, you, if we are not seen to be working with uh, people that own properties and, and, and even maybe, and it's the same with people that have houses that are looking to accommodate families, and we just seem to have, I, I don't know, what, what can I say, lack of communication, whether how we address it more. Now, I do know, Minister, and I want to welcome that local authorities now have a director of services for um, Ukrainians, which is very welcome. But my issue with that is they don't work within the accommodation sector. So that is a huge fault. So I would ask you maybe, Minister, that while we have these director of services in our local authorities, and I want to welcome them, I would ask maybe that we could work with the local authorities, particularly on local knowledge. And you know yourself, Minister, there's nothing as good as knowing local uh, businesses or local, say, uh, property owners or housing that needs to that know that they can accommodate these. So I am asking you now, Minister, that you would look at this. I think we are now, as I know, know and previous speakers have said, I know the government is committed to this, but I just feel these are issues that keep coming up in Carlow and Kilkenny for me, and I would ask that you would address these. Thank you. Thank you, Cahirla.